welcome, welcome. Uh, I hope that you're all keeping well, healthy, and happy. Over here, we are checking 7D. And uh, over here, we are going to talk about past perfect. It is something that, in my opinion, is very difficult in English. And you should check my video in the grammar playlist, where I go deep into uh, how past perfect works. Now, if you have already seen that, pretty good. Now, you can start with the exercises here. You can start with reading about Bitcoin over here. There's a very interesting article about a man who had lost all his Bitcoin. And then here, where is Howell's hard drive? Just answer the questions in here, right? In number one. After you have watched, uh, after well, let's say, after watching my video on the grammar, you should be now able to finish exercise number two, all right? Everything here that is explained is uh, something that I also mentioned in the video on grammar, but I explain it there also with uh, more examples so that you can un clearly understand. Now, when you read uh, number three, read the rules B and C, and then explain the difference in meaning between the sentences below. What is the difference here between one and two? All right. This can help you if you check uh, my video. I used some examples like this too. And then you should use the same logic here in number three. Then you should go to page 136. Over here you will find 7D. So I need you to complete exercise 6, 7 and 8. Okay? Don't forget that you are using past perfect, nothing else in here. So uh, always try to remember that in the sentence you will have the past simple already and then you will need to use past perfect. Okay? And then here, use the past simple or past perfect. Here you need to decide. So that means one of them in the sentence will likely be, if you have two possibilities, one of them will be past perfect, one of them will be past simple. If you have only one opportunity here, you have two, you have two here, and you have two. If you remember, guys, I told you that past perfect hardly ever stays in a sentence alone, all right? You need to have another past tense over there. All right, now... When you're finished with that, wait, 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 where am I now? When you're finished with that, uh, continue with uh, exercise four, then exercise five, okay? Rewrite each pair of sentences as one sentence using after. So you need to put these two sentences in five together, but don't forget to realize which uh, action happened first, okay? Now, this is for you to think about. Uh, I want to see if you understood past perfect well. Then if you continue to uh, exercise six, you will need to use past perfect here again. And then exercise seven, read the sentences below. Then think of the explanations for the situation or event using the past perfect. What had happened? Okay, so over here, try to explain what really happened. And don't forget what happened first, what happened second. All right. So when you're done with that, that's uh, don't forget to upload the picture of this. All right. Take two photos, one here of this page, the second one on page 136. If you have any problems, you can always come back to my video where I explain past perfect. It is in a, it is in a grammar playlist for you. And then the following task will be focused on a workbook right here. And I don't think you will need my help here, all right? I'm just showing you here right now. We will just do a feedback here where I will tell you the answers already. So good luck to you, gentlemen. This is a very difficult thing in English and I hope you will do great. I tried my best with explaining uh, this, uh, this idea uh, in the grammar video. So good luck to you guys and see you later.